Nathan Dungan is a much in demand speaker and president of the Minneapolis based Share, Save, Spend, which teaches teens and younger children financial responsibility. We're trying to promote financial balance and teaching them that it's cool to live within their means and even more importantly that it's cool to be generous because it's in finding the, the balance point that will give them a lifetime of, of uh, healthy financial decision making and really a lifetime of what I would call financial success which doesn't by the way equate with having the most money or the most stuff. I asked Nathan to summarize his strategy with teens. I mean the, the number one is, is review your own financial habits because adults are the, particularly their parents or mentors of these young people, play the most critical role in the teaching and the training of that young person today. Imagine your child, son or daughter at age 30, and what would you want their financial life to look like? And then once you have that ideal scenario, what do you need to do to backfill experiences to get you to that, as close to that ideal scenario as you possibly can? So that's the second point. The third point is do you have a process or a system then for talking and teaching about money. That is, do you have a frequent intentional system that will help you bring up money topics away from flashpoints? You know, that's the great sort of secret in all this. It's just a few well-placed, teachable moments that you can impart your wisdom and your values and your philosophy. Because I knew we were going to the movies afterwards, like, if, we, if she gets these glasses, we're going to go broke. to Gap, she's going to get jeans, she's not going to have any money, I'm going to have to pay for a ticket. But then, but then like, like, at the end of summer, we went to Duluth, and I found sunglasses for five dollars. So. See, yeah. it pays to wait. No, we <laughs> <laughs> got some good stuff. In the See, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, waiting. I mean, that's sometimes the hardest thing to do. But it's like when you're buying a car, or you know, some think of anything, even like sometimes a house, right? or big stuff, little stuff, sometimes waiting like is the best thing bundles. you can do. Nathan has been able to impart his wisdom through the youth care program at Camp Sunrise in Minnesota, where every summer he teaches teens like Pahua Zong his Share, Save, Spend program. The program has really taught me how to be like, okay, like I don't need that, you know, and I do need this. Lang Zong had a similar experience. I think uh, if I didn't take that class, um, I probably had a lot of financial problems. Um, I wouldn't be able to save as much. Uh, I, I'd totally be spending it and not sharing with my family and stuff like that. So, so spending money on your family is really important to you? Yeah, I think that is to me. September Hubbard's sister is a beneficiary of this sharing lesson. I think I'll be better with sharing my money because before I was kind of apprehensive about like ooh, should I really give my sister these 20 bucks you know what is she going to do with it she's going to buy another pair of shoes of course that's what she's going to do with it but I'm just, now I give her money because she's in college and I send her money and like, don't spend this on something stupid like a pair of shoes you know go buy yourself some food and so now she does you know she buys what she really needs so I think I kind of rubbed off on her a little bit so I hope to rub off on other people and 